win that hole and tie the match. We're down to 16. We can get it all on one page as the competition continues on a Thursday afternoon here at Westchester Country Club. Just a little bit off. You can't be tentative there. Until right. you maybe get to about your junior, senior year. You can play one a season, but playing those other sports really help. Yeah, I mean, it is very unusual for a player at this level to play multiple sports in school. Oh, beautiful putt there from about 30 feet. Cara Heisterkamp, five up against Aline Crowder, and this to extend her lead. What a performance we are Heister seeing by the 15 year old Morgan. Crowder. Uh, Beyond impressive. Bailey and Crowder, an incredible player. Uh, over in the, this is the fairway. She has been solid. It's coming in nice and high. And will it get up over the slope? It does. It spins. Beautiful shot right there. Keeping the pressure on. Love her confidence. Par here at 13. Gotta have it. See what happens. Heist for camp four, but his brother five. Heist for camp wins the match seven and five. Well, there you are. You had to look over to the official, make sure that it was all right. Yeah, but it, it's tough, especially, you know, earlier this morning. Pretty good shot from Brooke here. Very good shot. That should be enough, you would think, to win the hole. Yeah. A stick or two up. Doesn't have the speed. Don't like her chances, though. After the trouble that she's been having, this is a big putt. Yeah, just blew it through the break there. And a big mistake on the second shot. <laughs> but hitting it enough speed that goes past the hole will give her a good opportunity. Did everything but go, Morgan. She has 189 yards and her partner is has 75 yards to the green. So she just needs to make sure she's not over the green or past the hole because that's not good. Oh, that's good, though. Oh, my gosh, that was fantastic. Things have changed, and Cranston needs to get one close in order to also try and make a birdie. I like this for the wedge. Use the backstop behind it and spin back. They should be able to spin it enough. It's a little thin. Okay, very nice. Two beautiful shots. Two of the best shots we've seen all day here. Did she? Oh, wow, what a beautiful putt. Good read. That's a hard read. A lot of players have played a little bit higher up there, and that does not break this. Catherine, I don't know what you'd say about this, but I always felt like the USGA flag sticks were a bit firmer, a bit less friendly. Yes. <laughs> that Mary hit at that speed. She's not going to respond to that. Cranston, three. Love the shot. tempo. Get that right forearm Mike. down. Mike. Needs a spin. Oh, beautiful shot. They stay. Shot. All right. Pretty aggressive, but I like it. For par. Oh, how about that? Right. Stroke was good. Just a little firm and pull. Not enough and now. What Brooks say? She'll win two and one. And what a comeback as well. Really kind of kept calm. Didn't panic early on in the match. Five up. Good match play player. She won the 2017 Thailand Amateur Match Play Championship when she was only 15 years old. Women's Porter Cup as well plays at Purdue. Good, solid start for her on that front nine. Over at 12, this is Von Zaga. Five down in the match, trying to just hang in there. This for Birdie to tie the hole. And can Bunabodi now six up, six to go. The day she's having. He lines it down there nicely. Match, match will end. Engineering school should be able to figure this one out. 
She's studying marketing, not mathematics. <laughs> hey, math, marketing, it's got, it begins with a nail. Who's third here at the ninth? Pretty easy hole location today on that right side. Hard part's trying to judge the actual distance and control the spin. She does that nicely. I always like my brother Caddy. You kind of you, you've played enough golf together. You know kind of the mo when to say things, when not to say things. You've practiced together. You've got just that little bit of confidence. Nice putt there. Myler now one up to nine. A little from her right to left. You can go ahead and be aggressive with this one. Oh wow. Just played a little bit too much break. Just a bit of a course management error on the second shot. McCall, Andy Ogletree won the USAM. Just had hip surgery. He's getting a little bit stronger, but several months to recover. Nice putt there. What a swing of events and emotions. Yeah, you don't want to give Vivian Ho no. too many openings. No. Vivian Ho now for par to win the hole. She's inside right edge. Of course, she's going to make it. A little fist pump. No pressure, no problem. Yeah, you don't want to give Vivian an opening. Mm -hmm. from, up, from up on the top shelf. Absolutely. Third on the way at 16 for McMiler. Uh, really well done on the recovery there. Yeah, only problem that putt is for bogey. Just like you said, Amelia, easier said than done. Sometimes when you just have to two putt and that's in your head, it it messes with you. It sounds easier. Oh, yeah, the 20 year old Arizona Wildcat Vivian Ho advancing to the quarterfinals Friday at Westchester Country Club. Long that went extra holes, and you just got to grind those out. I think my later matches were a little bit less stressful for me. What a third by Borja at 12, Jerry. Yeah, off that severe uphill, that was gorgeous. 45 yards plays much longer. Back left hole location, entire green slopes to the left to right. on that back shelf to, have to get it all the way back here and hold it. This one should get a bounce. It does. Good call. Good bounce. That's how you hold it. Absolutely. About the only way. Beautiful shot. 13th. A little bit downhill, but not too bad. I'm going to give Borja a read in the process. She's in there inside five feet. Needs to break a little. Broke too much. Wow. That was a pretty good putt. Firm right. Wow, that was Most confident. Absolutely beautiful putt. Told you she was confident. <laughs> Two up through 13, head over to the 14th, the par three. It's really important on these shots. You keep your weight on your front foot. Is that any good? Oh, uh, oh my goodness! You dropped it out of your pocket. No. Oh my goodness, that was unreal. It gives you the best chance to make it as well. It makes the hole bigger, better your speed. Yeah, she just hit it right through the break. Yeah, it's just that's the situation. First one in. One up now for Borja as they head over to the 16th. And Borja to tie at 16. A little bit on the slippery side, down the hill. She has not conceded her opponent's putt yet. Favorite wow. quote is once you choose hope, everything's possible. Well, it's definitely possible. That's three in a row for her. Yes, it is. You can see in those practice shots, she's trying to really release her left hand underneath the ball. Yeah. Really well done there. Mm hmm How about that for Jerry? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Never rattled, even losing the last couple of holes. 
last three holes. Yeah, <laughs> he really, really needed that. Gotta be careful not to go over the back of the green, end up back down the slope again. This takes a lot of touch right here. Wow. That couldn't have been played any better or gotten any closer without hitting the flag stick. One bounce up and release forward. Settle. It could have turned out a lot worse. Not good, but it could have turned out a lot worse. Good. Huge. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> How clutch is that stroke, Jerry? They will move on. Bloody on it. Yeah. Excellent. Really well done there by Rossi. So much Not very conservative either, I was say so much for the safe play 15 feet left. That has taken dead aim. Well, they haven't given anything all day. Not going to start now. Rossi, though, two pots to move on. Hmm. That. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. First time we've seen the concession, and it gets the job done for the 20 year old Michigan State sophomore Valentina Rossi. Taking down Haley Borja in 20 holes and earning a spot into tomorrow's quarterfinals. And one up, let's get the two up. Did she? Oh, yeah. She sure did. The 63 seed, one of two players to earn a spot in the match play. Castle for hers to go three up in the match. Castle making the most of her opportunity, getting through that playoff on. Tuesday continues to roll right along. Eagle putts, Jenny Bay first to go. And with the T moved up, T box oh, yeah. today. What a eagle that was. Needed it. Three beautiful, down to the match. Beautiful putt. And it might not be enough to win the hole. Remain three up. Eagle to tie. Words you don't hear very often. <laughs> All right. Jenny Bay gets one back, as you said. Maybe ignite a little spark coming down the stretch here. This for par, three down in the match and in big trouble. All right, hanging in there, clawing around, but holes running out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Some Castle and Jenny Bay both missed the green with their tee shots. Bay is making a mess of this hole. This for bogey. You would think that is the last stroke we're going to see hit by either one of these two, and that makes it official. Jensen Castle, Kentucky Wildcat, four and two winner. She moves on as we said. Nahar now at 13, her second shot. Really good drive. She's one up in this match. Needs to, to spin. Oh, wow. That's the first one we've seen do that. That has a lot of juice right there. Beautifully done. I love it. Virginia Tech was the first. ACC, all ACC, first player from Virginia Tech to make the all ACC team. So, a good year this past year. Two up now, going to 14. He's looking to extend her lead. And unfamiliar position. She had a rally the first two matches, Morgan, coming down the stretch. Now she can breathe a little bit easier. And just knowing that they're in your corner is so helpful and so kind well, let's see for birdie to win 16. that far to be conceded mayhar picks it up it's really really amazing how kari has embraced the junior game in australia they're going to go on at least one more hole malixi able to win the 16th with par Yeah, she has 121 yards, and at this point in the match, with Mayhar in the bunker, just landed on the right side of the hole, and 
Hope to put some pressure on. That's a great shot. Oh, I'd say. Beautiful shot right there. About 10 feet for birdie. For birdie. Uh-oh. Watch yes. out. <laughs> wow. What moxie from the 14-year-olds. I think it was the banana on the last hole. I, yeah, you got to eat just a little you bit. Said it. You, you got to do it. it. You got it. Only one down. She had the 18. Maliksi at 18. Just needs to get this in the fairway with Mehar having some work to do. Oh, no. <laughs> when I talked to her on the range the other day, she said that this course is so fun. It keeps you on your toes. Every shot's different and interesting. This hole is keeping her on her toes for sure. Third on the way. Okay. Buried in the rough, but if she hits it just short of the tier, it could roll up. This is, it's a little heavy. Oh, great shot. Yeah, just not going to quite creep up that next tier. But well done out of the rough. Don't want to check. I just want to focus on getting sleep and eating. And then, you know, I learned quickly who I played the next day. Um, and then I wasn't, I didn't know it was going to play. <laughs> I was about to say, Mayhar, if it goes, wow. she wins. Well, she chipped in yesterday on 17. It's a very similar shot. But what are the odds you're going to do that again? Well, missed her shot just right in the bunker. Had a good lie. Don't. Came out low, and that is the luck that you need sometimes in golf. <laughs> that was very lucky. That was a poorly struck bunker shot. Sounded like she caught it quite heavy almost. For Birdie to win the hole. For Birdie to win, yes, yeah, she conceded the, the shot from Brooke and has just a little bit of left or right in this putt. It was tracking. Yeah, that was a good roll. Growing up around that championship on her home course is what inspired her to take up the game. They hosted uh, they hosted Wendy Ward and Vicki Getz Ackerman, mm -hmm. past champion here at, at their house during the event, and it really Whoa. inspired her. Beautiful putt. Pretty confident. Sounds like a one up lead, head to 10. Heck, to tie things up. This would be a great bounce back after losing the last hole. Her opponent is in for par. And she did it. Back to all tied for this match. She goes to that team, Morgan, grabs driver, doesn't hesitate, nearly knocks it on the green, routine up and down. She has this, again, a perfect layup. She has a little bit of a backstop here she can use to try to save par, get it close. Oh, spin it like Go. That. And Go. that's exactly what she did. Yeah. She at least gives herself a chance. That's right, Cheyenne. You've got to do it. This has got a chance, better chance. Oh, yeah, flawless. Solid. Yeah, good stroke. Left it on the proper side. Hit the green in two on this par five. Oh, wow. my goodness. That was not expected. Twice as long coming back. Wow. With her opponent, what I'm impressed with is her composure after that missed short putt. She took her time, got over this putt, figured out her line, and nailed it. It was able to quickly put it behind her, Morgan. Bye. She was on the fairway bunker, had a great recovery to hear. Hex still has a chip shot. And this shot. looks good. Oh, yeah, it looks better oh, than good. Wow. It looks great. Huge. Absolutely. What a putt. Yeah. Rachel Hex now tie. Wow, what a turn of advance. Missed the short putt back on the last hole and now loses this hole. Momentum switching and turning in the Matthews direction. She has this about 15 feet. Not much in it, honestly. Yeah. Whoa. That's that what the great ones do. They respond. A beautiful stroke there. Especially use the back the, slope behind her, Cheyenne, if she needs. Exactly. With the wedge here, she can use the back slope, has to control the spin. Gotta get up first. Oh, beautiful and shot. Beautifully done. Yeah. That makes a big difference hitting the wedge in there. The 15th hole now, Brooke Matthews, Cheyenne to win the hole. Right after that amazing drive, wedge shot, four feet here. One up in the match with three to play. Yeah, she paid it off on a beautiful tee shot. You know, incredible wedge in there and a nice solid putt. So I guess it's about perfectly played.
she didn't like that right away, and that'll leave her two down with two to play. Heck in. She's lined up right at it. She has about five paces between the bunker and the flagstick. No. Oh. And that was beautiful. We've become accustomed to seeing Rachel Heck. Damn, yeah, Matthews, that was her fourth shot. That comes up short. It's in there close, so big yeah, mistake if, off the tee. If I were Brooke, I would concede this right now. Well, Brooke really opened the door for her, and, and Rachel took advantage. She got herself here with a great a great look at birdie. Yeah. That putt. par will do it, though. Yeah, had two putts to win in the hole, so. I would expect Brooke to give it a go from the first cut as well. No, she needs to hit a good one here. Left herself short sided a little bit, but I think she's got some green to work with. It'll depend on the lie. Nine times out of ten, she's going to at least make par and probably give herself a decent look at birdie by playing this shot as opposed to, I mean, you see those bunkers short of the green. You don't want to leave yourself with a 70 yard bunker shot. She's definitely in the driver's seat right here. Yeah. I don't know if she planned that, but it ended up working out for her just fine. We just saw Emily with an unlikely pitch in. Can we see another one here? Like she needed to carry it about a pace or two more, Morgan. Yeah, I got lucky to just barely get it over that bunker. This is a must make for the championship. You didn't think that was going in, did you, Morgan? I did not see that breaking back at the end, but Rachel did, and that's all that matters. To Rachel's putt at the very end there. We're playing some more golf. I feel like that's fitting for this match. 180 to the flag today, and as you said, Morgan, you really just want to fly this on the green and let it roll up. You cannot be long here at all. To see the shot and see the green, you really have to trust your number. Shot on the way for Matthews. That is not a good spot. Short-sided. Well, her coach, Shauna Taylor, just texted me and said that Brooke can flop it better than anybody. So let's see how she does. Oh, Ooh, that's got to sit down, sit down. Just I gave mean, it a peek by the hole. Yeah, it's just. It never went right, just didn't quite get the read right there. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe I spoke too soon, and even Rachel, I mean, and then you got to think back to that short miss that she had on 12. Thank you.